What's up Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with a new Last Alliance update and Harad has been added to the available factions of play, they look amazing and they, yeah, they've like got a full, I uh, like, roster, like, it looks amazing, um, I'll leave the link to the Last King, uh, Last Alliance, not Last Kingdom, um, I've been watching a lot of Last Kingdom so I can see why I get that mistake, but the Last Alliance, uh, mod will be in the description in the, if you want to go and play it, just go Go and download it off ModDB. It's amazing um, for Shogun Two. For Shogun Two, so a very classic game, and it looks uh, amazing. I mean, the modder has done so much work in uh, basically getting this uh, basically all to work. Because uh, I mean, like Shogun shouldn't have like shields and stuff like that in it operating, but like gone to the effort of like putting the physics in for it. It looks amazing. But anyway, we got. Uh, we'll go through some of the units. We've got the Horror of the Desert. These guys look, I mean, uh, like the most elite swords you can get. And they look amazing. I've spammed these guys up because, you know, we want an elite versus an elite sort of army. We don't want to see uh, rubbish on the battlefield today. And then we've got these guys. We've got the uh, Serpent Spearmen. Uh, these guys are pretty awesome as well. They look like they've got, like, javies along with their uh, spears. So they'll be really cool. I mean, Harad, I mean, I'm not surprised to bring lots of spears. And we've got, what we've we got here, we've got... Um, just desert warriors. Uh, so these are like the more mid tier sort of stuff you can get, and they look also awesome and just like well armored. They look great. I mean, these definitely look like they could go straight into Shogun. They've got like that sort of like Asian sort of style um, sword anyway, but they do look amazing. And like I've just even realized, look at the like on the uh, blade, the snakes and stuff like that, and like different colors. It looks amazing. What else have we got? Um, we've got some swords. We've got some serpent fences. I think this is the most elite swords they've got currently. Um, they're they're pretty cheap to be honest. I think the most expensive unit they do, like infantry unit they can get, is the Horror of the Desert. I mean, these guys look pretty damn awesome as well. This guy with his cool mask and yeah, they've just got like basic sword and shield with a bit of armor. They look pretty awesome. I don't know why they like Harad decides. Yeah, we need to have like some weird bamboo thing coming out the back of us, but they do. I mean, that's nothing on the motto. That's just the law apparently with Harad. They just do that. And then we've got archers out the front. We've got serpent archers. I imagine very similar to the serpent swords. Um, yeah, these guys look pretty awesome as well with the bow. Let's get like a side-on view on one there. That's a good one. Look at the bow. Looks actually pretty well detailed, to be honest. I mean, nothing too fancy. Um, I mean, this is just like... They are just like basic. I mean, these are the mid-tier ones, Haradrim. Um, oh, no, these are the... No, they are the uh, most expensive ones, I think. These are the base, uh, more basic ones, I think. I might have that wrong. I might have that mixed up. Actually, you know what? I don't know. Which one would you say? I think the uh, these ones, the Haradrim, are the more uh, uh, more expensive ones. Let's look at their stats quickly. No, I was right the first time. The serpents. Always trust my gut and say the serpents. But I mean, these guys look awesome as well. Um, basically, same. I'd, I'd say they have slightly better armor. Possibly, they look like they've got plate armor. But anyway, then on to the next stuff, which is the serpent cataphracts. I mean, these guys. Look at their armor. Look excellent. Their gold armor. It's just brilliant. Could not, I mean, they look like they're going to just cause havoc in the lines. Uh, hopefully the cavalry's been sorted. I remember hearing that there was like a bug with the cavalry. I think that might have been sorted. I imagine it would have been before like adding more cavalry. But uh, then we have the, what were these? These were the serpent something. Serpent lancers, of course. These are the uh, second most expensive unit you can bring as the Haradrim. I think they have four units. I didn't decide to bring them all. Um, but they're, no, they're, I think they have five actually. Four melee ones, but then they have these boys back here, which are horse archers, which are excellent. First horse archer unit in Shogun. I never really played much of Shogun itself, um, so I don't know if they already have horse archers in it. But again, um, great work to just add them in. And then we're gonna we are against the Kingdom of Numenor, who we have seen before. Um, basically the same. I think they have a few new units. Um, I will quickly go over so you guys can have a look anyway, because I'm sure people new to the channel have not seen these guys, but these are. Numenorean heavy uh, infantry. We've got uh, Numenorean swordsmen up here. Oh, these guys are new. I know these guys are new. And I was going to show you guys these guys off anyway. These are Tellery spears. These are like an elven sort of unit. They look like. Um, oh, I think Tellery is like a sort of an elven race. But I mean, they look awesome. Look at these guys marching down in column there. And there's some other Tellery units as well. Um, as I try to find them, we've got Numenorean shock infantry. We'll just go on through, and I'll show you these guys. So yeah, Numenorean Shock Infantry look awesome. I mean, there's multiple um, factions for Numenor and for Harad. So, um, but I just went with the, like the two like best looking ones. I'd say Kingdom of Numenor, and they're like blue, and then Harad of the Black Serpent. I think they're called. 
um, in their black and red. And then these guys is the Tellery uh, Light Spears. Yeah. They look a bit... Yeah, look at this guy. He's like, I've seen so much stuff. It almost looks a bit feminine. They might be. Um, and then what we've got over here. Tellery Archers. This is the other one I was trying to look for. These are the final units of Tellery. Look very similar to the Spears. But to the uh, more heavy Spears anyway. And yeah, they look pretty damn awesome. But um, yeah, I'm sure we'll get a close-up on many of the other units as well. But anyway, I'm going to start moving the stuff forward. We are doing a live battle today. I think I'm just going to move forward all the archers. And just put it like so. Go about there. It looks like the AI is going to camp this hill. Uh, which is not a bad idea. I'm probably... I might actually come around here. Deny them this hill. Um, so I'll just put this on fast forward. Oh, no. Looks like the AI is going to come off the hill. So we will actually pull back. Fall back and let the AI come at us, then. Oh, no. The AI is definitely not coming at us. Excellent. Just what I needed. The AI just to, to camp. But anyway, we'll do that. And then I'll just set up the rest of these units. As about so. So we go to about there. And we'll put these guys about there. Hopefully, I think this is going to be the cavalry that will win us the day, but we'll see. I didn't mean... Oh, no. They are not in it. There we go. And we'll put you to about there. Oh, no. Played far too much Attila recently, and it's uh, clearly hurting my uh, micro. Then we'll just put all this around here. I'm just going to use the carry to defend the flanks for now. Let's put it to normal speed. I think the AI is going to come down and fight us. Let's move forward the infantry and we'll get it into combat. A big old line. Numenorean Royal Guard. These guys have archers? I thought these guys were like a bow. I didn't realize these guys were also a bow unit, but I mean, they're doing insane. Got pikes here. Oh, Tellery. Uh, oh, no, these aren't pikes. They're just Tellery Light Spears. They look like pikes, though. I was like, oh my gosh. So, yes, I'm going to do this as normal speed. We will slow it down and show you some slow mo as well. Don't worry. Um, but I am just going to. Basically, just move everything up. Can I just drag you forward? No, I didn't think so. I missed that. I really do miss the ult. Uh, I think we're actually putting up the trash stuff for a uh, second. So it's going to be the elite stuff going in first. Oh, there you go. All in combat. I don't know how strong Harad is against... Um, Numenor, probably not that strong, but uh, we're going to risk it anyway. So we're just going to send these cataphracts in. I should send all these cataphracts in. I don't even care. Just route these guys, get them off the field. Haradrim horse archers, where's the other one? All the way back there. Oh, God. I'm not having a great time here with my old micro. Uh, Tellery light spears. They should break these guys. Looks like a lot of people have bow capabilities. Didn't know this was going to be a case, but there you go. Actually, surround these guys. Surround those guys. But let's get some close-ups. Let's look at the Haradrim in battle. I don't really care if win or lose. Just want to show you guys off, off the, uh, the excellent stuff. Look, yeah, it looks like most of these guys have bows. And they're going to quite happily just shoot a point-blank range. Oh, excellent kill there. Uh, don't really want you firing at will, but hey, just do you. You do you. Oh wow, these spears are in here now, fighting it out. They probably won't do so well, so I might pull these guys out. Let's pull these cataphracts out. They're not going to do so well in combat. 
Let's send some Haradrim up the hill. Get these guys up the hill. Up the hill onto the next wave. And there we go. He's flanking those guys in. Let's watch his cavalry charge. Ah, it wasn't that great, actually. We kind of got the flank on them here. Shock infantry in here. This could, these will be a tough opponent. This guy's floating, I've just realised. That guy was floating. He's disappeared now, but uh, he was indeed floating. Let's send forward some swords. Let's send forward the swords. Let's get these guys in here. Looks like we are going to break these guys ever so slowly. All these guys are just run, uh, shooting us and I didn't even realize. Get a move on. Let's watch this cavalry charge as the cataphracts go. And I'd like to see a cataphract charge. These artillery uh, archers are going to feel the pain here. Fire! Quickly! Fire! Oh, that's a good charge. Yeah, I don't think many of them are getting up. 82. I wonder how many are going to get up. Oh, not many, I don't think. They'll break quickly. Archers here. I'm not archers. Are they archers? They all have missile capability, which makes them makes me keep thinking that. Oh yeah, these guys are archers. But it's gonna be great to see uh, Harad in like the co in campaign and stuff like that. It's, I mean, the campaign itself. I haven't played it yet, but it does look amazing. From what I've seen. Let's get around the back and start flanking these guys in. Uh, start shooting back here. Yeah, it looks like most of my units have like some sort of missile capability. I'm kind of all for that, but I mean, like, God, it's like overpowered. The enemy indeed. Okay, I don't need to hear about the enemy just for like every second. Like, look at these guys. They're just going to shoot point blank range. Look awesome. Volley! Volley! Come over, volley. Oh, yep. Yeah, I imagine these guys are going to charge forward. Here they go. Into combat. And there you go. The charge begins. So yeah, these guys are all just firing just bit by bit into the uh, back of these guys. Oh my gosh, how is this still unit still holding there? But it's not now. Just as I speak about it, it, it breaks. Um, get around the side. Okay, they all broke. Excellent. Another cavalry charge into the side. Oh, <laughs> it's brutal. These guys are still firing into the side as well. There's no need. Uh, archers. Start shooting further up the hill. Actually, all archers start firing further up the hill. Start firing further up the hill. I'm just giving them all the orders. All their orders. And yeah, that cavalry, that, in, that cavalry is just going to absolutely destroy these guys. Poor Tellery. They just turned up, you know, rocking it up. Stop saying the enemy. I'm gonna. Otherwise, I'm gonna mute you all. Good if they can get some different, uh, like sounds in there. I guess is what I'd say. Yeah, just push through these guys. I mean, or hardly a push through. They're basically gone. Most of these units can just get get around. And there we go. Route those guys. Then we freed up everything. Just charge in. Charge in. And all the cavalry can just go into. I guess these guys. Yeah, they're not going to get a great charge, but I've kind of lost the interest in the cavalry now. It's, cavalry's doing okay over here, but not brilliant. This right flank, to be fair, is actually finding a lot more difficult to get through. I, I say a lot more difficult. As I'm just watching, like... So many of my units just get stopped just to do nothing. Get up there and do stuff, guys. Here we go. They're going to come down the hill. 
They're going to get put in combat. And yeah, that'll... Oh my god. There's just so many arrows. Like, Numenor's just got no chance. And like, it's got to just attack. It's just got to be... It's forced to attack. Um, we actually haven't looked at the general, Serpent Guard. Let's have a look, quick look at him. Oh, he's just basically like the Calfrax, but he's got a... Uh, He's got a lance instead, so that's kind of cool. Do like that. Um, you guys, I guess, just charge into there. But, I mean, look at this front line. I mean, you can sort of see it through the trees. Haradrim spears here doing their bit, or desert spears doing their bit. Go on, kill this dirty Haradrim, even though I'm playing as them. Oh no, he dies. A sad sight. Uh, Tellery Spearmen are now in combat. Are these guys out of ammo? No. I don't know if these guys can run out of ammo. Surely they can. I mean, they can, and they can form like a Yari wall formation? Um, just a spear wall formation? I presume is what it is. Um, but I mean, that's pretty damn cool. Let's just get around the flank even more. Shoot into the rear of these guys. And there you go. These guys are probably going to get shot down. I mean, they're really holding back all this cav here. This is where all the damage is happening. But here come the arrows. Volley! Thudding into the back of these guys. And that, over time, is just going to do a lot of damage. Just a constant volley. Oh. Jeez. Look at that! Look at all the men falling through arrows. That's really going to turn the shit like the f the fate of that battle. Is what I was trying to say. But yeah, look at that. Focusing those guys down. The cavalry is going to break, but I don't even care. I could not care. And there's archers back here or horse archers back here shooting to the back of these guys. I'm just watching this. Just watching the arrows. Look at all them thudding around them. And then you've got them from behind as well. Like, this unit here is just done for. What is it? It's just a Numenorean sword. They are done for. Um, swords or spears here. Get up. But yeah, we're slowly breaking through all these lines. I mean, they got a lot of them. It's more the issue than anything. And then we've got more spears here. Just shooting stuff back there. We're just punching through. Like, I mean, this cavalry here is not going to do much. Can you just go into combat? Can I just send you an... I kind of want to. Uh, actually, no. I do I do want you an auto fire, but I just want to send you in. Oh, there we go. go in. I don't care. Oi, I know that. Leave it alone, advisor. Gar, I know what I'm doing. He says. But we are breaking through these guys ever so slowly. There's so many of you in Numenorians, though. I can't wait for the uh, new Amazon series when it eventually comes out and they decide to uh, show us the second age and we're going to see the Numenorians. It's going to be amazing. I could just go into the back of that unit, but I don't really want to risk these, uh, these guys just yet. How is this new unit still holding back? So oh, it's Swordmasters. That's why. These guys are going to be nasty. Can I get these guys to focus down on Swordmasters, please? They're an issue. But yeah, look at that. We're just, just a huge blob of troops here. But we are actually getting, we're getting through to their all their nasty stuff now. Getting through all to the nasty stuff. But I mean, yeah, that right flank's finally giving way. More cavalry or horse archers over here. We'll just flank around. And we've broken through there. And into the back, into the shock infantry. Don't know what the AI is doing. You should have sent this unit in. The AI is not that dumb. But I mean, look at these guys. Look awesome. Oh, got an impaling on that guy. Excellent. Chop them down. There's a unit back here. Numenorian rangers all the way back here. Okay. Run these guys down. What are they doing back here? 
But I mean, let's have a look at these guys. I might imagine they're just going to look a bit like Ethelian Rangers, but uh, yeah, they probably look pretty cool. Yeah, they're quite cool. Oh, nice charge. That's going to be nasty for these uh, cavalry, uh, for this infantry. That's Yeah, that's actually not done too bad. The Okay, I'm going to mute you guys in a moment. It's what's going to send me mad first. Is it going to be the, the fear of coronavirus or uh, some men just going the enemy at me? I'm going to go with the enemy. Cor coronavirus don't scare me. I've got plenty of loo roll. I'll get through it just fine. Yeah, but this unit here is just getting... It's just been shot in the back for no reason. I'm just going to send these guys in. I want to see a rear charge. Let's just watch as the... Uh, Poor Sarchers here. Jeez. Oh, that poor guy. Just got shot in the back and the front. Here we go. Poor Sarchers charging down. Oh, God. That is nasty. There we go. And then these guys just fire at stuff back here. Athelia, more rangers. Why, what do they think was the smart idea of having all those rangers back here? And why are you all the way over here? Go in here. Actually, no. We might need you here. Shoot the... Uh, attack these guys. Why would they keep the Numenorians back here? I mean, the uh, rangers back here, sorry. Not really a good reason. But... I think they'll probably... I think these rangers might be okay in melee. Just a, just a small thought they might be okay in melee. That cavalry, oh my gosh, the cataphracts here, they just kept dying. Poor men. Uh, I'm going to focus on these sword masters. They really need focusing down. But yeah, basically everything's engaged. Uh, there's a few units over here that haven't been, but not the end of the world. We'll thank you guys round. They still like fighting all the way out here. Jeez, they actually are. They're holding in some places. I think it's just where the like the spear masters are, and these artillery spears apparently aren't awful. Uh, there's the horse archers are done. We'll just put you back in the rear. Start shooting stuff there. Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed looking at this. I mean, it's basically done now, but uh, we'll quickly. Mop up this Numenorian army. Shoot you guys in the back. There you go, just go in, boys. Surround these men. I'm sure they won't like that. There's still guys here? Oh, these are these are sword masters as well. There's so many sword. How many did I give them? But we are starting to break stuff slowly but steadily. I think I actually did break everything over here. Wow, well done them. Where's the general? Uh, I don't actually know. Did the new general die? Oh no, he might be out here. Numenorean swords, shock infantry, sword masters. I don't know. He might be anywhere in there. Anywhere in there. I don't know what the gen. I think the general was like a guard unit, but I'm probably just like can't even see it. Probably not even looking properly. It's just becoming a big old blob. This might be him. Yeah, they're actually causing havoc down here. Yeah, kill those guys then. Yeah, this is basically done. Oh, actually, no, I don't want you going into combat. Just shoot these guys. Our men are under attack. We must act now. Of course, our men are under attack. We're in war. But here we go. We can just quickly have a look at what happens in this last last stand. 
by Numenor. I don't know where the heck their general is. But you just gotta love their armor. Gotta love that armor. Oh, these guys just remind me of Fountain Guard. I mean, as they should. <laughs> They're just so insistent on shooting. Oh, these are actually archers. I might not want to have them fighting, but hey. Everyone goes in now. Everyone goes in. It's a do or die situation. Oh my gosh. Um, my cavalry is pretty beat up. Yeah, that's a... Kind of wasted those Carfrax in the end, didn't I? Are these guys still alive? Oh, uh, they are shattered. Okay. Oh, there you go. Huge chain route going on. Our foe is utterly there we go. Chain route. I don't know where their general was. I don't know if he just died straight away or what. He might have just died straight off the bat. What they got left? There we go. A victory. And we'll end the battle and look at the end results. Um, it just That was actually quite fun in the end. I actually kind of enjoyed that. Um... I'd say Harad are pretty, pretty strong. Um, if you just engage them pretty quickly, I think, though, if you... I mean, I didn't give um, Numenor the most, the strongest army ever, but and I gave Harad a little bit better because I just felt like they were going to be a bit trash. But they every single unit for Harad seems to be able to fire. So um, just stay at range if you use them, and you'll probably just beat the enemy. You've got a massive... Um, but yeah, if you bring a full army, you've got a full army of, uh, of like, a... 20, well, like a 20 stack of, like, archers, for instance, or, like, whatever, really. And then maybe some really good cav. Um, but, yeah, I think the most units, uh, the one that got the most kills, the Horror of the Desert, yeah, 316, insane. I mean, most of my uh, swords did really well. Um, yeah, so, I mean, there are the end results, but, I mean, it's not, not as good to look at. But if you guys enjoyed that quick battle, then please do leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment if you want to see more on the Last Alliance mod for Shogun 2. But until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you guys later.